So let's answer Robert's question. Why is the thumbnail the way it is? Well, this is why, ladies and gentlemen. Glory kickboxer. Long time glory kickboxer. Michael Duth shot in both legs over a horse dispute in a trailer park in the Netherlands? Oh my God, you're a horse? That's exactly what occurred. Dutch kickboxer and long time glory fighter found himself in the crosshairs of a random altercation, random and unexpected for him anyways. So what happened? What led to this? According to Dude's friend and pretty big YouTuber slash vlogger, Alex Soze. Dude was shot in both legs during a conflict over a horse. horse beef. The horse is owned by the alleged shooter who arrived at Dude's brother-in-law's house, who escalated the disagreement that originated at a riding school where Dude's nephew rode the horse in question. <laughs> So that's part one of this crazy story. The shooter was visibly agitated and according to witnesses, shouting and banging on the doors of the residents trying to get in. Dude stepped outside to address the commotion. The horse owner slash aggressor then allegedly pulled out a gun and open fired, shooting Dute, striking him in both of his legs. Dude was immediately rushed to the hospital. There was luckily one nearby. And later that night, it was reported that he was in stable condition. And though he will likely never fight professionally again, he is assumed to make a full recovery. <laughs> However, police have arrested both Dute and the shooter. Reports suggest the shooter may have also been injured in that dispute during the conflict, potentially leading to the shooting itself. So Dute's not off the hook just yet, despite being shot in both legs. The Dream Crusher was last seen fighting actually last year, April of 2023 when he lost a decision at Glory 85. He's one of the longest tenured fighters in the organization, making his debut in Glory in 2013 at Glory 5. He has struggled in the years after his tremendous performance at the light heavyweight contender tournament, and he's gone 2-8 and eight with two KO losses since that run. The longtime vet has some amazing fights, some awesome wins, and victories over some notable names, both in kickboxing and now kickboxing crossovers who've made a name for themselves in the UFC, such as Dustin Jacoby and Yarzinho Rosenstrike. So ladies and gentlemen, this shooting occurred a few weeks ago. I was going to talk about it on stream. I was going to make a video for it earlier, but I was waiting for some updates. I was waiting for charges to be laid, court dates to be made. Made no update since. So, Dute and the alleged shooter, the aggressor, the owner of the horse beef, they're both still being investigated. How this whole situation is still being investigated. And I'll let you guys know when we get any updates, but not the way I imagine Dute saw his career ending. However, he was on his way out regardless, but it sucks that this is what ultimately is probably going to end his fighting career. But who knows? We've seen crazier comebacks, more miraculous comebacks before. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. All right.